going on guys? Tristan back here with another video. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys like uh, how to get the best out of your iPhone for videos, pictures, because you don't need a DSLR to get the best pictures or you don't need a fancy camera to get the best pictures. Smartphones actually take great photos now, so don't be mistaken by what your camera can and cannot do. As in camera, I mean your phone. A lot of people don't know, a lot of people just have their iPhone on the regular settings on their for their camera. The camera can sh change between let me get exact settings here for you guys so I'm not off and have everyone rip my head off. But um, let's go to the camera here. Closing camera. Okay, so it has, if you guys would, I need to figure out how to stream my screen, but <laughs> you guys go to your menu, go to photos and camera, you scroll down to the bottom and it has camera mode so it's gonna be preserve settings grid record video record slow-mo and at the bottom has a uh, high dynamic range which you keep normal so it blends the it blends everything you gotta get so you can get the best effect photo that's why you get that HDR um, photo sometimes when you take the picture so you take a picture and then you have you be like oh I just took only one picture of that but it'll make two of them for you all that's doing is just getting the better light. It's getting, it's getting a lot of more light, a lot more color into the second photo. So, we gotta do for, especially for recording wise, because if you guys are starting out vlogging, start off vloggers, great tip for you guys. I am a startup vlogger myself, but I just happen to have a DSLR because I am a photographer as well. So, if you don't have one, you don't have the chance to have a DSLR, don't worry about it. If you have an iPhone, I'm pretty sure all the iPhones from 5S or 6S, one of them, up to the 7 now. So you don't have to have the 7 Plus or the 6 Plus. It's all on here. You just go to your settings, like I said, the camera settings. Go down and you go to press the record video one. So you can either shoot at 720 HD at 30 frames per second. Still okay, still good. If you want the higher definition, you go 1080p HD at 30 frames per second. Or you can do the 1080p, but at 60 frames per second. But what I'm at right now is I am doing 4K at 30 frames per second. Now a lot of even DSLRs don't even shoot 4K. You look at the most popular camera out there that vloggers use is the Canon G7X, I believe, Mark II. Believe it or not, those don't even shoot 4K. My Nikon D5200 series in the professional series, it doesn't even shoot 4K. So having a phone, if you know how to use that properly, you can have that 4K video that you've been looking at. Everyone has a 4K, everyone's announcing, oh, I got a 4K video, I'm doing a 4K video. It's most of the time 1080p or People have like I think the Canon 1D shoots in the 4K, but just for the body alone on that, that runs you up to like eight grand, eight nine thousand dollars. Crazy amount, especially if you're just starting off. Don't want to do that. Another camera is actually the Sony A7 series. They'll still run you up around around a thousand dollars area. That will run you up there as well. Another camera that shoots 4K, which is very underrated, which I am going to soon, hopefully,
get one is the Nikon A900. That camera is mirrorless camera, which a lot of people are going towards like the Sony, but mirrorless, just a point and shoot. So it's just your basic camera, but it shoots 4K. One thing everyone's sleeping on because everyone's so hyped on the Nikon, so, or not the Nikon, the Canon side, the G7X. I personally think that the Nikon is a better shoot, shooting camera, a better recording camera. The only thing that is faster on the, the Canon, I'm gonna say, is their AF, their autofocus. Their autofocus is, it's crisp, it's, flat, it's fast. All right, so let's jump into the camera of the Nikon not the Nikon, the camera of the iPhone and let's compare the difference because honestly I'm not even dogging on my camera. My camera is amazing, I love my camera but let's let's check it out and see how this looks on the camera. I'm gonna record on here. So here is the video on the iPhone. So I'm holding horizontal wise or landscape wise just so you guys can get that full range there. So there it is. So let's say I look focusing there right now. And just focus on that. And this is all shooting at 4K. Like the iPhone does phenomenally well on Changing the lighting, I just tapped the screen there, so it's my fault. But changing the lighting from getting in from outside to an object in front, which I'm very shocked at. So, I got my camera here, and ooh, like it's, it's clean shot, clean shooting. So I'm gonna like look at that. The only thing is that if you're be holding it like this, like right now I'm cheating. I'm using my screen that's on my my other camera. So on my Nikon, I'm using it to look at the other screen because it's in the shot. But yeah, like you can vlog like this if you have to, if you don't have it. I know the power, uh, the, the aux cable, RIP to the aux port in the iPhone 7, but it comes with the adapter. If you guys really are picky with, oh, what about the mic? What about the sound quality of the camera? You can plug your mic in if you wanted to. And then the only thing is it'll be like kind of hanging there. I'm sure, like for with mine, mine's like a regular size one. If you get like the mini one, I'm sure you can get like a little clip thingy or something on it to to adjust to just just to help it out, and like clip it onto the back of your phone or something like that. Just stick it on, whatever the case may be. But uh, yeah, look at that, look at that transition. I guess I can't transition like that. I should have been like this. That's my bad. So yeah, there's a landscape view of me. Hello, hello, hello. Like this is pretty clean. Like I like it. So yeah, I'm gonna go take us outside. We'll do a more in depth uh, video recording. I also have a little secret sneak peek thingy, not a sneak peek, but like a little, a little secret you can do with the iPhone recording wise you guys should like it let's go all right so here i am now it's a bit uh kind of chilly but it is beautiful nice view like uh check that out but yeah it's uh what I did want to show you guys was the comparison of how it captures like a, uh, a sunset. 
the DSLR, of course, is going to capture it way nicer. It just, just takes in more light. Um, the th one thing, though, that I like about having my phone, and I guilty myself when you start using it more, is using the time lapse function on the iPhone because my DSLR cannot do it unless I get uh, a remote to override the settings. Um, right now I have my phone time lapsing right now. I'll throw the clip at the end. I throw the clip at the end of the at the end of this uh, little video here. But yeah, I'm just taking the view right now. It's nice. Water's flowing. Um, I showed you guys the slow mo of the water. Um, it's probably hard to hear me out here. It's kind of windy, so you're gonna hear some wind. You can hear dogs barking, birds flying, <laughs> whatever. But yeah. So I had to come out here, get some pictures as well, and that's all I want to show you. Another thing I wanted to show you guys actually was, but I just can't get to the water. It's just too murky and, I don't know, it's not the nicest water here. I do want to go to Banff. It'll be pretty dope. But um, if you guys do have an iPhone 7, if you do, or I think even the new Samsungs are coming out with uh, the, the function of having waterproof, or not waterproof, water resistant. I've done it before, but I just never put it in a vlog, I don't think, is putting the actual phone underneath the water just to get that kind of, or even half and half, so it's like, it'd be like that. So like, down here is water, up here is, you know, above water of course, but it looks sick. I think I want to get some pictures like that as well. I wish I had a body kit on my camera, like how some of the... The divers use, like the dive photographer, the I forget what they call them right now, but uh, yeah, the oceanographers and stuff, they go down, take pictures of half underwater or fully submerged underwater. I don't have that type of camera, to be honest, to do that, but that'd be cool, cool to experience, cool to try out. So I'm gonna end the video here. Just gonna get some last couple shots, finish off that time lapse, and then yeah, gonna head out to my little brother's basketball game. Maybe I'll uh, vlog some of that for tomorrow. Add in tomorrow's vlog, but yeah. For now, this is me, signing out, taking in that nature. Remember, keep grinding, keep grinding, do what you love. And uh, I'll see you guys when I see you. Thank you.